we are uh, in the final session of the event and uh, our invited speaker for, for this talk is uh, Natarajan Shankar. He is a distinguished senior scientist and fellow at the SRI International Computer Science Laboratory. Uh, he is a senior from IIT Madras uh, at the PhD from the University of Texas in Austin. Now, Shankar has been uh, instrumental in actually developing automated reasoning techniques. Uh, specifically, he has used uh, theorem provers to prove metal theorems like the Bowling Center Fitness Theorem, which are Shorset Theorem, Metaverse Theorem. Uh, his contributions uh, have been immense in the areas of uh, automated reasoning, both on the theory side and on building systems. Specifically, uh, for those of you who, are, uh, who have used your improving, uh, you may have already uh, you know, used in some application the protocol of the system, PBS. So, Shantar was uh, responsible for the creation of the study information system. Uh, he's also uh, very active in the software technology community. Uh, hosting mentoring students for the service technology leaders from around the world. He's played a central role in several research initiatives. In the co recipient of the 2012 uh, Computer Related Verification Award, and also the recipient last year of the Harvard Award for Fundamental Contributions to the field of automated deduction. Uh, it's my privilege and pleasure to invite Shankar to the Okay, now it's it's truly a pleasure to uh, be here amongst uh, four friends and some different uh, audience. I thank you. Is in India for the uh, invitation to uh, come and speak at this event and really enjoy the other speakers' uh, presentations. Uh, I, I do work in some of the areas uh, that the young people start from. My talk today will not be, uh, it won't be very uh, much uh, uh, And I might introduce a minor report as a way I think I've been online uploaded and back then in the market. The really the ones There's been a lot of discussion about whether that one's idea is actually disappeared and so on. For 40 cells and all, and the software design cells and all, and in case it just makes the maps and I can use the other thing to achieve goals quickly and then. The, the lifetime of software and systems that are actually not the name of. That's not, these four subjects are not going to go away and they'll be with us for a long time. Just because we're going to be able to do more than all the languages that need that. Yeah. If you look at the language, you know, have to get down to the level in which you want to support the software and the classroom and so on. Now, the the uh, um, the uh, group is something that um, you know I think it's become more and more common. And it's software is really the world. As more and more things in the world are uh, you know where software is dominant control, things go wrong. Not because any really mechanical thing is going on as software. And they can go out of the And uh, this is one reason that uh, there's a lot of proofs actually going to make on me. In these days, it's, it's in the case that uh, many uh, employers who uh, were up all the fundamental strange tools that are there. So, even though this is one of the very traditional sub field in computer science, it can now be seen as a more hot field. Because of the technology that's now available, the scale of things that we can do with it. And there are many, many similar things. The political thought is forming in our mapping in our software to the available uh, resources in most technology frameworks. Again, 
from the state of Canada. And part of the main reason is very little, but the breakthrough is that we've achieved in a constraint form. And many people have applied the tools to develop all the works. Building these up and all the optimized methods of art. And the problem with striving was an artist where you, you really do care about the community's software. And you, you don't want um, the uh, failures to be attributed to the software. And this is going to get very, 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 very new software. And uh, if you can fail it, you need to tell them the software will be really found. It's all the, 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 the reasons and the, everything else is just a very good device. It's really something that it's kind of and you want to get that right. So the goal of the group is very uh we have a point on in the next stage. And it's a little bit more in the first one to talk about the place that I work at. Some of you may have heard of it, you know, typically you might not have heard of it, you might 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 have heard of it. It's probably impacted your life in so many different ways on a daily basis, and you might not be aware of it. But it's just a small sample of the ways in which impacted your life. So if you've done your laundry, you're going to be going to be impacted by the work that was done in this very long time ago. Uh, the automation of the process in their way of the technical scheme, the script that said, you know, that's all magnetic and optical, recognizes the represents you, you know, in a very, very significant way. Um, speech recognition technology, which you now get the matters, you know, the matters of the work. And it's an uh, impact the first substitute of deep learning work done by researchers and speech ethics. So the first failures of deep learning were also by uh, researchers and speech that we did try to learn this in the first work. The only thing that made it possible was GPUs, actually, in our. So, so the, the, there are tech tools to this. So, you do not have this in the text, but that's the thing that colors need to learn as strong as seven weeks. So, uh, you know, this is something that uh, you know, the, the, the human model uh, is sort of what is shaking the robot the previous work. The root node of that work is shaking the robot. Shaky was the first component of it. And it's kind of actually now in the computer history of these work. It's now in the research planning. Um, you know, then there was also in the way you build a view of the world, all these things came from this main point of culture in the world. The modern GUI uh, hypertext with those mouse uh, collaborating with those cases all the came from the brain of Calvin, who also, by the way, introduced exponential failure, which said the mouse part. The dynamic part was supposed to be the so that. He was also instrumental in, in the creation of the Arbonite and the Internet, both the uh, post transitions of Arbonite and Internet World. It's not a whole Internet from the Internet. Actually, what's the only significant transition of any kind? It was the moment in the first time I came to that, it was the one where I was involved in it. Ancient printing, optical display, displays, LaTeX, submission LaTeX, and the market, and the mission to it. And this is the important problem uh, if you're in what you now regard as blockchain. Actually, it's not about this, this is the important problem, same with the human, which is also known as the robot. So, you can see the robot is the same, but the machine robot is the same. It's just like the human, it's the same. How many of you know what SWAT terms? The red point is the way it's going to see this is what the human is in the text. Commercial security problem. It's a name. So, what are you going to do with the five or ten? This one is one. The laser printing, the internet, small talk, the most is in Paris. I thought I also that the first type of use is the only type of use is the world in the way out in the making of the name. And uh, the, uh, this thing that recently came to help me that the uh, SLR wanted the, the fossil fuel industry at the danger of the climate change. So they wanted the, the petroleum institute and rising out of the gas at the concentration plant to be a cause, maybe the cause of serious world and environmental changes. 
Okay. So, you want to read what you do? So, I want to see who to be the sign of the validity of the man. As the man is the first series, it being a mathematician to be separate. But in many times, we actually do kind of uh, anchor our class on the groups. And this led to the idea that in, in many senses, you can actually have a notion of an axiomatic world and then you could ground out truth in terms of trust in the ideas. The ideas are what you, you take it together, and then everything else must follow from the axioms. And, and this kind of reads a spinnacle in, in Euclid's geometry. For a long time, human beings didn't do this thinking, so Things came to my in the Western world in the 15th, 16th century, when I was like, with the language of the very year, I thought it was something that was not the only Asian thing, but all the other But the you know, development of the static system in, in the 19th century led to the mostly the focus on the Asian they never really took on that matters. I didn't have a focus on people like Chinese, Chinese peers who really create the theme of the data of the modern world. The way she said, you know, it's subject to the modern world, not the application to the other power. Even though they knew that there were applications possible, including modern theories. So the organization of reasoning really started in the phenomenon in the 1950s. We lost Martin Davis. You know, the beginning of this year, and uh, he was the first one to actually program a computer through theorems. He did this in 1954, so you know, quite a little. And, uh, so the other thing is the actual validation of program logic systems, the actual validation program beginning in, in, in most of the 1960s, uh, leading to the culminating in whole logic. That uh, made it possible now to think in terms of automating the reasoning of the correctness of the And this is the kind of holy grail. This is the uh, you want know, to actually make sure that you know, software works as intended. There was a backlash. And this is an important backlash. It's important to take your credit seriously. It's not, you know, you can't dismiss them. Um, that they had bad intentions as well. You, you, you've got to take the lives of the people before the series argument saying that uh, you know, proofs work in mathematics because the proofs themselves have been examined in an and they have social cost. If you look at software, you know, software is not like mathematics, it's not kind of a of small, it's hundreds of thousands of lines of thought. Who is going to look at those and the proofs more? Hundreds of thousands of lines of code in, in order to check whether it's been done well. And then you, know, you think, okay, that's hand proofs, sort of you know, automated proofs. And they just decide to make it by saying that if not magical proofs, we really want to fit in what's been protected. The right from the accident, we will still be completing our videos. This is what mentioned this work that I did, you know, in my dissertation with the students and computers there. That certainly put that. Particular line to us, proving the incomplete sphere of foundation way is the same thing as counting our changes. And since then, you know, there's been a lot of progress in the operation of the people. And today, this is really the most reliable, you know, the most effective way of getting to the lines. Everything else is actually failure prone and very, very expensive. Now, this has a problem that you do need training manpower. But you know, really, truly, what field does not require training manpower? This is a price we should be willing to pay. It's something that we think right now, the constant. We do these things with the best available tools to the best of our abilities. And it's not go back to looking at the criminal 
Well, it's not traditionally set up in the back of set up in the social process thing. Those are what they, you know, they, they do need automated help and I believe that there's uh, this is a very very good kind of uh talk that uh Vladimir Bar the late Vladimir Bar lost the opinion members here and uh in which said once you have the opinion members people are using more of everything he said was three nine nine to two. And uh a lot of time was wasted. Because of that, and uh, it depends that we are ready to rely on more beauty of our things. The population is okay. Uh, software assurance. I wrote an article in the and I think it's extremely the hardest thing that I can, you know, I can do theoretical stuff with that tools, you know, the number of the hundreds. No, that you can start with the software. The other thing is that you know, software now is to be uh, part of the receptivity of software is how many things it needs to be. You need to understand the domain in which you're operating, you need to understand the environment and the assumption that software you need to understand platforms within the critical sort of comfortable and heterogeneous platforms. You need to uh, take care of things like cleanliness, uh, security. All of these are really difficult problems. And security itself is really hard to calculate because you don't. Have a good handle on what the impact of wrongs. These are things that we should under you. And this makes it really hard for an individual program who really isn't uh, uh, someone writing the language code has no idea what the, the context with the code is, is going to be a period. And, and so they can not ensure that the problem is actually important. Okay, so this is the thing how to read that. Um, so this is the thing how to read that. This is the thing how to read So this is the thing how to read that. In, in the design phase of the software. Oh, what? People don't realize as much. The cost runs into the trillions of dollars. That's the US engineering cost of software is two trillion dollars. The cost for the rest of us, more than the rest of us, the amount that we may have on LinkedIn on screen of an identity system and so on. Cybercrime alone, more than the cost of the The fixed software and all the other problems can be taken care of. Climate change, hunger, all the Things to be handled if you can save money on the margins. So, the thing about software is that you can't find these mistakes you know, uh, after the fact. You can't put out a bad software on there and then say, you know, you fix it later. It's 100 times, it costs you 100 times as much to do that. You need to get your design right. You need to understand the environment and the platform that you should have and the design and so on. And you need to create an assurance case to talk about it. it says that it will work. You know, you push the button and it will work. You don't you don't have to really run it and feed the things like that. It, 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 that's the kind of assurance you should get. And the assurance case that the situation is something that has these claims, the assumption, the top claims, the artifacts, and you know, the evidence goes with it. That that shows that the requirements. On sensible, they capture the integrity of the practice, the implementation implements the requirements, and there's nothing else. Yeah. Everything is based on the requirements. This is what I should say. That's what I'm saying. And first, you know, what I would say is that it's hard enough to just build any assurance case because you can build assurance cases that actually not embedded in a lot of things okay. that you, you've got really bad business ideas in them. You know, the, the six roads here the way you want. So, you really need something where uh, a skeptic has an easy time finding the holes in your insurance department. So, if you're making a security argument, you don't make it at the level of support. You make it at the fact that there's something that actually enforces policy in a long high pass over there. Okay, that's the actual argument. If you want to prove the opposite of your own time, you don't do it. I mean, by making a line by line argument that each line doesn't have a lot of value. You do it by using the following type language to make sure that you have some value. And there's really one aspect of the machine is on that. It's because you need to validate models with us. You need testing. You need test articles. You need a lot more. The system that we've been developing over the last. And I'll tell you a little bit about this shit. So, PBS you can think of as an environment in which you do your thinking. And it's, it can be taken about an 
been thinking about mathematics, we've been thinking about programming behavior, we've been thinking about platforms, so it's all of it. It's kind of thing that you write down for me what man and the bodies you want to start, and you pull from the people. For us, PDF is kind of, uh, it's a little bit of fact, and we use it to kind of get research ideas, the PDF going to be studying this. But others also use it in, in uh, uh, pretty key body work. We uh, put Snap and we're using it to develop the uh, a whole library of political violence, political violence, the kind of uh, thing that I uh, really saw. Uh, and so these are things that you can do. You can do very sophisticated hardware. You can build uh, more models, processors, you can kind of use uh, these instructions that you can do. Yeah. One, of the, one of the experiments in PBF was exploring the uh, synergy between features in the language and the ease of inference, the ease of automated inference. So, in natural language, the idea that language should impact is on the same level of the system is generally, uh, this is generally not regarded as being valid, except in a few in a small instance. A typical example of when I come to India, uh, and where the company can to actually it's very sweet to look back to uh, make sure everybody's relation to everybody else to have to use that. People that say, you know, you are just doing all the network, I don't do that in many other cases. Um, but to a lot of things, but in, in um, computing, at least, so there's what I call a computation symbol of the The formal language does uh, the ease of reading. And, and in PBS, I showed that. And it's, the other is synergy between the um, kind of interaction and automation. You can make things kind of extremely automated. And what happens is the automation often goes out of control. Then the human being is doing the laborious work of psychoanalyzing the automation. That's how I was doing the incomplete suit with my applied material or what I wanted to do. So in PDS, you know, I decided that you know, I didn't want to be doing that, I didn't want to be stuck. You know, you know, use the automation to the, the, the tedious stuff, the stuff that's relatively obvious, and rely on the human being that's just like good. Because part of what it's doing for you, at least for me. I'm really out of work. And it's debugging my neurons. It's not just saying my term is wrong or my definition is flawed. It's actually telling me that the, the way that I'm approaching the problem is correct. That's the kind of debugging that I've given up with. So that's what it's important to be in the interactive group. Some people might think, oh, that's a pop up. You're using the human being to do the intelligent stuff and you're using the machine to do the dumb stuff. And nothing wrong with that. So it should be, but um, it's it's not actually building an interactive system is much harder than doing it in markets. You can hide a lot of the things in markets. You can hide much in the practice because people have to be able to read the output from from the processing in order to uh, be able to interact. So it's actually more challenging to than in Paris. The other part of this is that uh, when you do this, so the, you know, almost all of the language is executed and you can uh, uh, run it uh, as a as, as, uh, as program. And if, if you can think of it as a high level, in some ways, it's just being a kind of holding very dangerous. You always have to move to a higher and higher level of description so that you can really get That's something that has, has a very feelings and uh, thinking. And so this is part of what we can do with this. And initially, we would mainly just run the specifications just to see whether we have the right specifications. So you write a complex process of description and we need to go along with it. And it's nice and that's great to find something there. But eventually, we're progressing towards something where we think we can invent an analysis that we're not ready. And this would be nice if you could work on some. So we started this around 1990, and uh, I yeah, traveled to uh, Denmark in 1992 to teach a course on this. 1993 is when we uh, publicly released it, so it's not exactly uh, 30 years ago. 
And since then, there have been a lot of nice to see uh, integration model checking and the four generations of that are posted in uh, main game. Um, this, you know, this is a lot of work generating code in a language to like C. That's a kind of more than a language. Now, I'm not sure that this is sort of PDS, so this is sort of called the enterprise that they engage in. This is a combination of some of the other systems that you might get in the US. ACF2 is the one that I've mentioned in the oil and material works. It's the new version of the material work that I use for the entire dissertation. That pure actually, I just started using that and the closest that one to a relative experience of the This is an amazing thing it can do groups like a high school level. But the problem is that often they're giving you that things that are in the net and you have to go and you want to speed that or why didn't that pool work? It's a truly amazing for now. It's kind of the thing that. Uh, you know, sort of the software is kind of they made a lot of stuff also within the you know, systems like that. The whole foreign modeling here you know, and the model system is an obvious thing that I really like. So these speed on the whole economy, you know, is a similar thing to the And then there's a the whole bunch based on constructive kind of productivity, the quality of the lab that I'm keeping and this to be the whole system that are there. They have different kinds of allocation, different kinds of language expressed in that. So there's uh, you know, a very suitable set of things that uh, I'll be very happy to use any of that. The thing that makes PBS a little different from all of the others is that it takes a higher order model, one in which you can talk about numbers and volumes, but you can also talk about the functions, you can talk about functions and functions, predicates from functions, like you know, saying something with the continuous function, that the predicate of all the so you can talk about this in the pattern of logic. The pattern of logic is introduced by uh, a lot of the church, essentially, and that means that uh, it's very convenient to write in our eyes. But having the subtype into it means that you can bring in things like the subtype of even numbers, the subtype of order numbers, the kind of numbers, the kind of numbers, but you can also take it to the higher order level and you can talk about the subtype of privileges. Or the preserving maps and uh, you know, uh, whether uh, a function is differentiable or differentiable. These are things that uh, make it really convenient for expressing mathematical differences in a precise way. And making sure that you never apply something like that. Uh, uh, so that's uh, you know, these subjects are many, many rules. And in particular, for my needs, if you don't have it, you know, a, the cost to me is that you know, eighty-five percent of what I need on this. So the other system that we don't essentially have this feature, and, and, and in the way that it is used. But the flip side of this is that you might get a lot. Why is it that every time I have to prove that this is not too even numbers and even stuff? And this is the thing that's why you know, if I apply the square root function, then I have to show that I'm not going into a model that. Number of the value of the value show that the denominator is not zero. But it turns out that the automation takes care of all of this. But the flip side is that when the automation, when you fail to prove these things, it's quite often the case that you find a deep mistake. And mathematics actually pull these deep mistakes. It's very, very easy to guide all these things. And they can cost you a lot. They can actually invalidate a you know, 200 page model just because you made one of the mistakes. Of them. And uh, so it's probably so in, in, in any given page of mathematics, it's probably one of these uh, kind of things. And so the thing you can do is that you, know, you want to be uh, allowed to do things in terms of the things in the field. So the negative number uh, differentiating the uh, uh, Function and so on. But we also added a lot of machinery to make sure that the kind of information is kept in the It's easy for you to do a lot of reasoning just to learn the facts. One consequence of this is that mathematics, so you will never have something that's a good expression in the world. And the other consequence is the computation that I think. The same mechanism ensures that you will never apply. We have a system in the bonds, we have a flow, and one part exception 
all of these things are back. Now, let me give you a brief introduction to the language. You can do the language and you can uh, slide. So, the previous specification is a collection of files. They are not previous files. Each file is a sequence of theories. Each theory is got a, a name and some parameters. So, the parameters can be given as types of individuals. But each theory contains a sequence of declarations. And declarations can include new, new constants. Or they can introduce new files. That's it. It's also quite simple. When you introduce new types in, in languages, there's all the choice. You can either match types and names, then you can say that, you know, I'm going to look at the name set, and you can match type with such. There is this one that I'm saying that way. And because it's a specification language, you chose the matter. Uh, you can define the same type in many different ways and so it now to be uh, treated the same. So the types, the type you have the base size like Williams and numbers, and you can have subsets, the previous balance dimension, like even numbers and prime numbers. And you can have dependent function types, certain types of type. types. So, so the function type on the domain to the range, the range can actually depend on the the uh so, for example, this might be uh, a, net, a, a kind of uh, integer, and that could be something that is trained. So, so, you can have things that are dependent. Similarly, two rules you can have a uh, dependent where the value of the second uh, uh, component of the two becomes the value of the first one. It's similar to the cross. So, this is a finite sequence. Would be something where you have a length field, and then you have an array to size of that length field. Or a length field. Okay. Again, it means that when you you know apply it, you make sure that you want this sort of look at look at the uh, sequence within the sums, and then you have other great well, other great data uh, things like this series of strings and all this. And the expression now is not quite simple. It's booleans, uh, true or false, number zero, one, two, three. Applications that can apply, for example, the actual function to uh, an integer. You can have lambda functions. So you can say that a swimming function, a query function. You can have uh, tools that you form. You can form the entry to the elements. You take the third, the third component of the table. This is only for a so name fields and conditional expressions and a thing called updates. The update expression, I don't mean, the rest is pretty standard, but the update expressions are really significant because they, they allow you to update very certain data types, all of these things, uh, non destructively in semantics. But in code, in execution, you would like to make it more efficient. You just start up the next thing that it's safe. Any questions about that? So I'll give you a, a little example. In this series, so this is a higher theory with functions getting from the domain type to the range type. And uh, this is an extensionality possible. It says that uh, if you have two functions f and g that are the same value and reflect the same argument, then they're equal functions. That is, you know, nothing else matters. The you know, size of the definition of the function doesn't matter. It's so the behavior of the type. So it's observed behavior that matters. And you can say, uh, you know, you have. Um, in the second one, I think that says it's inject and so it's the kind of simple example. The third, I was trying to do it.
so here's for I mean the value of the here's for the value of the value the same summation to higher order summation to the types of recursive function that's a higher order summation. It takes the function of one and then it takes the natural number and the second argument. And it says that the natural number argument is zero, then it goes zero, or that's set up and minus one. Plus h on the cross of zero and so this is something that you know, gives you the summation f zero f one f two f three and f one and you know that uh, I'll show that uh, you know you add the those hundred models what we get and it was given the same as a higher model that we can apply basically saying uh, that zero point nine and two words. Uh, Okay, if you want to, uh, yeah, you know, you know, uh, so, so that's the kind of thing you can do. So, you can do it by small steps, you can, you can uh, go through these uh, things on and you know, you can dot on N, you get the base case, you expand the definitions. You can you know expand it again, you can uh, expand the ID, the identity function, and then you know you can do the value of the where you're saying you can actually have lots of value of the machine to do. These are things that we run into usually in sets that we already get. And you can uh just read on the whole thing that I want to do. Well, I can use the different definitions that may not have a lot of sense, and then you know use the reduction of our system to finish the proof. So that's an economy of kind of doing the proofs in very, very small sets. So you can take kind of big moves like this. Then you can, uh, let's say, you want to do some squares. So you can do this by saying that the, uh, you apply the C up and C up, and that just finish the proof. Okay, so you can take big moves. And what typically happens is that it's kind of a system one, system two, then and up. So as long as everything is you know in sync, you are in flow, these big big steps kind of get you through. It's when something goes wrong, then you really have to step back and go, you know, let's throw the blue in pocket and it takes small steps to deal with it. And as I said, 95% of the time you spend three money in things can't get the QED. So if you optimize the QED, you won't miss a lot of these things that are going to be money, you know, you don't miss. Any question? But you can also uh, evaluate these. So I'm preparing to do the scenario and the style. So you can do evaluate it as well. It's just a big number. This is quite useful. So, uh, what would be the same So, uh, the to get a the the but you know, and for you, this is like another in, in ACF2, there's a lot of work on the JVM model. So you can actually verify JVM programs. And one of the things they have in ACF2 that's very, very impressive is they have a very detailed X86 model. And then you can prove there as well X86 area. But these things are, you know, there are a lot of work in the way like PhD thesis, but you can do that. And the thing that, that you may have, there are also things that are Java verification engines, and uh, you know that are things where you directly allocate verification to Java. But the static environment is the Java. I have a program where the microns and the English Washington has to say check the thing for. The problem with those is the languages are very complicated. They're very loose. Lines of code is very difficult. So, in, in, in many ways, the aspects of my talk is that you really don't want to be like that. You want to be proving in the abstract and generating code 
in the there is a kind of PDS to Java works in the next question. I'm going to use it as PDS to live is one of the PDS to see it was So let's talk about code generation stuff. This is a thing that we'd like to run these programs. And in some ways, let's say, okay, the world's very built for native engine for two years. Yes, we haven't done that. And that may not be that interesting to what codes we can run. We want to see the flows like that. But you can do that. You can actually take. The functions that we get in the BBS is actually not saved in the action code. Uh, in in C that time, and that is so the complex model. Let's say that it will probably take a few weeks because it's in other numbers. It's similar. One of the things we can do when you have to go to other languages once you find it, you know there are a lot of ingredients in the code. It's pretty good to do it, but there's a little more on the complex one than that. It's kind of a static analysis with a couple of updates. Operations and so on, doing that. Whereas with this kind of thing, maybe the uh, uh, the T T code is a little more complicated. It is in the general generate sentiments from this kind of mathematical language. And uh, the, the kind of many reasons for doing this, so the uh, animation testing validation group and so on. But ultimately, you want to get to the full system building with this. And again, this is a nice thing to do because you can have non computational things in your models. Talk about which you can actually talk about security properties in a way that's really hard to do with open logic. And so that there's really strong reasons for doing all the reasoning in this kind of world and engineering. But you know, we are computer scientists, and I regard us as abstraction engineers, so for my maybe computers, it's abstraction engineering. And, you know, finding abstraction streets for a lot of what we do, and bridging abstraction boundaries is a lot of what we do. And in this case, you know, functional programming is one of the kind of abstraction streets for them, because it is one of the abstraction streets for them. If you want to bridge that gap, the difference is what's exactly in some of the functional languages. You know, reference should not be the I mean, if you, we have something like two plus two, you can replace it with four. You can make more of us. Nothing else matters. In comparative things, it's not so simple. I mean, there is still a kind of notion of reference should not be because, you know, so few things can be made equal. It's, it's not a convenient version. With the functional language, both manual and mechanical verification of models is less. I tend to speak in quotes, I tend to kind of say things in a way that is portable. Um, code verification is basically like right. uh, it's, it's not the And in certain things that Certainly not going to work taking C and trying to verify. Very, you know, pin, pin, pin. You can generate perfectly with C. And then the average is still up in the Nothing is just I don't know you have that update construct. It's not actually doing a construct in this. Creating a new copy of things. And then the word of memory management is in this. There's nothing in this static set. And it is actually something that needs to be added. Okay, nothing said that. So it's just because of the competitive languages, lots of problems. And the COVID is tricky, but no, then the thing that you live and die with in functional languages is that extra, and that X equal to A and B. Not, not really a lot of these very languages. The language is triggered by control of the market. So in functional languages as well as your arguments are evaluated in the value of the functional application. It's all the data that uh imperative languages broken down as we do the control 
But secondly, it's not a revolution in traditional expertise here, it's really not a full revolution. And you can integrate uh, extensive language and application software and all kinds of things. And then we have an industry analysis. So, PBSC generates state that can kind of the most simple in the language. And the thing that uh, surprises me about it is so new. It's sitting in the top team, it's actually a pretty nice solution for a language. It is good for my human rights. But it's nice as so one, and each PBS after the company can participate by it. The way you do it is you take the uh, PBS uh, definitions, you come up with them in the form, you do a link. Mass, uh, where the mass occurrence in any computation part of the variable is. So, that is the point at which it's potentially released by the reference. So, you, you uh, know that. And then you may use that then to lessen the fact that you have reference which you do disrupt all cases. So, as long as you have not released by the reference and they have the reference some of the one, if nobody know other. Part of the evaluation is going to be using this value, so you can safely just start with your data. So this is the main benefit. So, to give you a kind of example of this, take this very simple swap here, you have a kind of size that's 10, it could be a little And uh, you have this by, uh, index, the index that is like you call it below, so you can zero to one, so you can one. And Square is basically a square matrix with the top and then from this lower side to the lower side now you and 32. And then these are also subtitled to you 32 and so And this is an outer swap. So you know it's an area that is this one with the swap and I and J. So it's a tiny AJ to I and I A R and J. Whereas this is an inner swap, a swap in I J or J R. So it's swapping it's called. Now, what can go wrong with this inner swap is that uh, you know, the, the, uh, the, the other swap, it may be that uh, some other variable is holding on uh, has an alias reference A, and if you update it destructively, then you change that variable's value unintentionally. What can go wrong with the inner swap is you can have inner arrays, that is, even though you have an array of arrays, two indices, I and J, are actually pointing to the same reference. You can have the same reference. And so if you update one, you accidentally update the one. And that's not what you want. Now, the uh, idea then is that you convert it into the all where you, know, you let time very special. But what you see right here is the lookups, and the intermediate time with lookups, and then you have the updates showing here the intermediate time. Now, this still has a function here. So, you know, but then you notice that each update, this is the inner swap, the inner swap function. Each update now is translated into two updates. So, in order to do the inner update, you actually have to, you know, replace the outer update with another, to kind of the null reference, just to get the reference to program is hard. You've got to take care of a lot of the things like this. So, all of this. So just so that the bookkeeping for that is not effective. Then you end up with this C for here and you see the lookup circular and you see the updates here where you are kind of replacing with null and you see some reference counting in between this as well. And that is what I think this is video, but I can make it for this video. There are many things that are going on here within this set. Uh, I won't get into the details, it's very small and a very simple. But the uh, main thing here you know, is that you know, you started to think that we have many of the many notes in the C code that would be if you would write that single line of C can go on a hundred ways, and it's very hard to keep so and so on the end and get it better. That's okay. how do anybody in the world have this? You can do that. And, and so the kind of current basis for this is the idea that you have something name on the variable function of the variables, and you let the other to the other and 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 the
And then you have a uh, application, and uh, you know, you have some bookkeeping kinds of stuff. And uh, you know, the translation in on the policy is very yeah, popular. Uh, we have it just. And then eventually you can have it to uh, something that I don't By the way, I use very, I don't know, generate C code access from the whole program in C. I use like, 10 constructs, and that's good enough. And I say we don't know the right system. So the full thing actually now that's in the full PBS to see is a full functional program on language. It contains multi precision rational numbers, if you do a sports, it contains uh, a lot of things that are going to exercise Now you might. Um, you know, have something where you have two multi precision if you do it, and you, you know for some other reason that that difference can be uh, placed inside of your day. And you can do that in all the things you have, and then it's safe to do it because you verify all this. Okay, now these are things that I really want to get behind you and be told. So you probably just throw all the things that you have to take a multi precision file. But here you actually get the most that you have to be very possible. You get, depending on the size of it, you get that out of the size. The finite sequence, you can keep adding to the finite sequence. Finite sequence can be adjusted in size. So again, this would be taken to your room. Yeah, it's a problem to have a language to do it. So you get dependent on the size of the tables, you get how the definition is deployed, and these are kind of clear how it's kind of good. Uh, you get uh, you know, a string of work done about the string library, algebraic data types, PDS, various data. They give you a mark for very little, and uh, that's another thing that's implemented. Uh, fundamental theory is one of the is very uh, common in here because you want to do it in a way that's you don't want to sort of box one of the and say, I'm going to take the lazy course of AR and just going to get everything referenced that way, the course is completely polymorphic. And everything is bought. But then your know, array of human age becomes an array of references to human age. And that's not good. You know, all the time you lose uh, cat. So you know, it's, it's, it's a really hard character problem to solve this. Then we have final decision for that. It's a kind of the basic data. They can print out all the data and JSON. Can be made with the So, you can do it. You can't regard it as falling in the question. In programming languages, I have to work lots of people. They come with lots and lots of elements. This is not quite good. So, things I've done with it in some of this HMAC, for instance, so that interesting answer. I'm sure you because this is the sort of focus on. Wikipedia page. They changed it on the so Wikipedia page, but this is what it used to look like. Okay, so take a quick look at it and show sure you the PBS. It's almost identical to the pseudocode. But the pseudocode ends up coming back to the program of that. This is what you would. If you look at C code for H, you look nothing like this. Well, you look, this looks identical to the Wikipedia pseudocode. Look at the C code and you look very nice. I mean, this is pretty else is kind of procedure. So you, you get this kind of, this is one portion of each map of the enclosure or something like that. That's the secret of that's generated. So the, the uh, other things that I've done, um, the ADS and all the diagrams to do that kind of, and uh, various other things that we're doing this. So you see, I want to the So you the kind of the day is what the Indian style is called. So, uh, having a version of this uh, sitting there and kind of compiling. And you see, it actually generates some functions. The, the warnings it generates are actually because it's definitionally equivalent. It ends up defining the same type over and over again. 
series of kind of basically programming values it doesn't recognize talking about the same kind of sacred beauty and how it's going to be the way, the thing that I want to work with computer science is that we look at these you know things that are just dreadful design systems, what I call original systems, this garbage behavior, it's toxic, it's not that. And we teach it to kids, we propagate it, the kids teach it to other kids, and uh, you know, the, the, uh, nobody comes in there, no one says a word about it. Um, it's really a kind of painful thing about it. I have a theme that, you know, this is, you know, these horrible things that are the uh, the boss is true. It may be that, you know, we could really do things in the we could really be. More professional one of the things not a share here at the uh if I want to see the kind of things it's a three months literature that just you know started by one survey. So that the thing is true and the proof is the invertibility of the universe and, and the code generator and this is not uh competitive in the I think. Uh, I'm going to work for me then, and trust it. So, uh, in the end, that's not what I'm It's a very simple thing. Uh, you can really very resource. For what's saying, we better off making your seat through BBS to see that I can see it. Okay, let me get to the conclusion. That's just the questions. So, the, the uh, the thing that we should be doing is not writing on this code, we should be focusing on the class model. And that way we can ask test our models against plans. No more these things like that. We can write uh exchange tips and we can uh test in model either things that are energy models and thermal models and all that. So that is something that I think you know, today is another large part of that. For generation is one way of this, and this, you know, PDSC is one way which I have to get to, to uh, have a take and look at two. And the, uh, you know, a lot of the stuff, you know, depends quite heavily on the certain uh, theoretical languages that uh, can give you the foundation. So you know, I found it good, it comes from your exploration a lot. So once you have your electronic models, you know, then it then gives you the kind of straight and narrow kind of condition to do the practical work. So theory is very, very, very foundationally important. It's even if it's a leap, you know, the theoretical part of the work where I'm leaving five percent of the work, it's it's the five percent of the work that it gives you the underlying improvement of the rest. So it's very important to do this. And uh, you know the key value. You know, this, this, you know, you know, all of our maybe you know, multiple languages, models, and you know, we thinking at once. And the, uh, you know, big lesson in this is that, you know, you know software is even the word for good reason. The software is this flexible malleable thing that you can mold into all kinds of nice shapes and use. But that software is talking as the one. The, you know, we need to take a lot of things seriously. We need to take every information, the processing information seriously. This is something that is critical because you think you will go out of control. If you don't get a handle on these things early, you know, you're going to get uh, a kind of bailing uh, uh, situation. So it's, uh, it's really important to take seriously. Now, we have the tools to do this. We have the proper time and say, let us say, any of this stuff that we've been done with previous circle of 30 years ago. So this is a thing that we really have the tools to do this. Even though they've been a lot of advances to that, they've just been kind of an area of time for technology that existed for a long time. And the students have tell them that this is really a goal to be achieved. Other people have done a lot of that kind of in the state of work. You can Take these tools, you can apply them in all kinds of adventurous ways. And people are doing this. So, this is truly a coordination. 
uh, in which they you know, you talk about because the problem is the complex problems and the capability of the tools is really hard. Finally, uh, you know, uh, kind of uh, the theme that came out into this meeting. So we inherited the word is toxic power in the academia. Sometimes we think that you know, we can take advantage of how to do this. It's something that people often choose to do of some interest. But the problem with information technology is that it amplifies the link power. Really makes uh, it, it saves the point. And, and this is something. I had this scenario. A lot of other information technology in my area of colonials, where you know, the colonial powers took up the gatekeeping positions, and then you know, they just acquired everybody. They took raw materials and they processed them, and sold them to those networks, and then back to the That's happening to you. So, you know, last year, you're, you're, you're getting these things where it is that for the levers of information you can do all kinds of things to you. And you, know, you need to, as a person, fight for collective data generation. I hope you will start. Take a few questions and then. <laughs> yeah. Hey, uh, my name is Karika Shrai, and I'm from PIT uh, Water. I'm a PhD scholar there. So, how can we motivate new trainees in PhDs and MS for uh, like taking up research work in these areas? How can we can motivate them for this area? Yeah, I'm me about motivation. You know, if they video games, you can do this. It's really it's very fun to see what's going on. Oh, like, uh, what can be the tools you can be saying? Like, what are the things you can tell them? And so, uh, like, how to motivate them? How can we picture, like, uh, to motivate them to work in this uh, and take, take up the sense and search people? One of the things that occurred is, you know, I told you that many of them follow what I've seen, Google not all the things all the people. So, you know, on Amazon has. Like hundred of my friends already working up there, and then you have to do Facebook, uh, all these you know, like the Amazon, you have the mass on the Zoom, and so on. So then, Facebook like another thing that motivates them. I hope it does. It does pay back on the other thing you notice know, is that you know, what, what, what is the kind of uh, problem here? This is. Uh, it's a great time, it's a great idea, it's a great time. Yeah, of course, like uh, people get on with it for uh, all of us, it's not like, what's going on, but that is the same issue. Yeah. Which one of the problems that someone can say is that there's some, and you're probably expecting some people, so I understand that it's certainly Make it more yeah, no, yeah, actually, one other thing here is, is, is uh, it's one thing to talk about only methods in isolation. It's also another thing to say that it should be embedded in other ways. So you should be learning some of this stuff, uh, you're doing AI, you're learning some of you're doing hardware, you're learning some of you're doing programming languages. You know, peer conferences, if you can detect anything that has that application. Most of the papers and the uh, conferences and verification papers. And so th this kind of uh, you know, clean, but it's like computing is not actually in here. And logic is the calculus that's actually in here. And the things that you're doing are really the glue that hold all of these things together. You know, this is, you know, you cannot get hardware to work 
you got a thinking about multiple models of number. You know, population plus database so that so you're you're doing something that is really the, the calculus computer. Hi, uh, thanks for this uh, for the great presentation. Um, this is an open question. What is the so I know I've heard of PLA plus as well, but your site uh, with related to work in our nation. So what is the difference? Yes, so what's the difference? You know, the one that we was talking about the one point you trying to prove the systems and then they are separate ones. The TLA class is more specialized to the central lot of the bunch. And it's very nice to you my know, whole that it was used and something like that. We, we even when Lanco came up with TLA, one of the most major IPs is uh, we embedded the TLA in the US as well. So that's another thing, way in which you can use it. You can embed our logics, and we have that's the built a lot of infrastructure for doing that. But the, you know, the thing about TLA plus is that it's focused on state machines and the use of the central logic to improve uh, behavior of the problem. It's not, you can only use it when you're going to start the stuff No, I don't. Yeah. yeah, so yeah. Uh, you said that some pretty people know how to code in C. Uh, I think when it comes to crypto algorithms, no one will be able to solve it. In fact, typical recommendation is that uh, code in the middle of the You don't have your own implementation of crypto algorithms. You need some standard library of the experts. So you can show us an example of AES that was generated to AES. But a lot of these crypto algorithms, they are susceptible to side channel attacks. So you call it something, for example, when you generate this code, when you want to make it resilient, that's a side channel attack. So it's in a way you can specify that you can make it generate action mark. Great question. I, uh, I lost a very dear friend of the name of And uh, he is very sharp. What do you do? Don't write crypto for me, not all of them. The people, again, the very few people who do this, even getting the libraries, the openness, and all the people who made the kind of hippie areas in doing this. And there's a whole lot that can go. So I, I'm pretty careful to generate code that is uh, resident consumption and time. So my code generator is mine. It doesn't really do with a series case and the modernization. But what do I know? The C compiler can think, oh, you're not really clever about this. The case where you know, something is 13, I can optimize and then there's a second channel. Program is hard. Okay, the stuff is a little hard. Uh, you, you got to put your arm in my hand and you're not letting these guys go for This is again why I think you know, we need to bring in specialists who can actually do these things. Very, 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 very important. And these things you can, you can use for your purpose. Yeah, yeah. Thank you. 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 So the idea of quantic thinking is you're thinking into a kind of certain thing that maybe metadata or connection data to the world. You can even put in things like the energy problems, freshness, uh, and knowledge, uh, dimensions, units, all of these things in quantic data. We don't take that seriously, but it's a different problem. But that, that's one way in which you can actually show it. But again, to do this well, you need to operate as a large fraction. But make sure that the concretization of large fraction is not used. It's a problem with security, it doesn't make sense. It's a question, and the small numbers will be safe in that week. You know, uh, staying on the US, uh, one of those very rare researchers who 
the alternative from the most of the provision there to the left. And the previous said, I think that's something that it's too good to believe. And I didn't notice any, I did say quite a few other interactions. And of course, I sent the LA bus data. Uh, and you also made a note about um, you don't think program verification, who won't think verification. So as a student, why not extra? What is your opinion? Something like extra. It's very similar to previous. Right, so that, that's your verification course. Uh, so I. Yeah, they, they, they don't have something like PBS to see. So you can and write things and show them to put them to more abstract test on that machine. And that to me is what is you can put me this. Uh well, just a uh, quick uh, questions. Um, you mentioned uh, the outside areas from the same machine and it's a similar signage. Yeah, so okay. this is the thing that I forgot to uh, say. Like, so we've been talking about all the toxic things that's there. One of the you know, most interesting for this kind of thing is the, the fact that you can take the pulse from the very That's a trillion dollar revenue. Right? If yes. somebody made a trillion dollar revenue, what are you teaching a trillion dollar revenue? Yeah, so. The surveying of the pulse act and very much the number of the Paris side of the issue not be allocated in the side. But the, the one thing that's separated also from the very much side is that there's no way to modify data in a way to affect the world. And that's the section on it. Yeah, and we are done. Thanks. Okay, so with that, uh, I to conclude. I think uh, uh, just to sort of say a few things, uh, and get a step for that strength. But if every time you insert a USC drive into a Windows machine, what those are the different questions? You listen to see what are the power glass going around this system. So there's actually a form of verification happening in private networks every single time. So every single time you fly an airplane, thought by the software is you know, sleeping away, I'm just like, the guarantees, I mean, so the entire kind of software is not verified. But there are proven guarantees that certain things are going to So uh, we, we probably don't see things because it's a they will start affecting our lives in invisible ways. But I thought you could say is we need to be aware of that. And try to, I mean, the previous talk I didn't give was about the self driving class. Uh, we can put the bar up and we can prove that the software has to come. So when you find the actual problem, it's the software that has to come, it's the sensor that has to come. It's the So the one thing, and this is uh, we, we exchange for this way that we use the language. They don't come with any interfaces that tell you this is what it does. And it would be so much more useful if it just told you it was uh, the trailer thing uh, cipher. The trailer starts this uh, service very well. Can be movie times, but it doesn't have a voice recognition software to figure out the finally get you know you have to punch in the thing, finally get why don't you just tell me what many you want to see? <laughs> so there is uh the KPI is one of the contracts and, and those contracts are what have any value because they're what they're doing and that's you know the, the thing that then can be a currency constraint. People are buying and selling products. It is a sad And I uh, uh, that uh, Shankar is uh, supported by a distinguished uh, industrial program. 
which is uh, an ambitious program that has been launched uh, in collaboration with uh, IIC and NC in India for a very generous donation by Srinivasa Govind and Mr. Hassan Chay Kulu, who is the founder of Pramati Technologies. And uh, Shankar is the first uh, recipient of this distribution uh, between the British War. Uh, I mean, the grant. Uh, this grant is supposed to lift sort of two distinguished computer scientists from the highest global center in India to give talks at one of AC India's top events and interact with students and researchers at uh, India's limited technical institutes and research organizations. And Shankar is visiting several institutes. Uh, he visited a few four to see them, visited one to see them. So I will give thanks to uh, uh, Mrs. Sindhara Govindan uh, for the start of relationship. So in future years, we will actually see more of the you know, most distinguished computer scientists from all over the world visiting us, visiting institutes, visiting all the institutes and institutions for us to learn from them. So uh, uh, you know, the first week, uh, and for uh, Absolutely. Yeah. 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 Yeah